stay back at Isom. Uh, this is their first taste of Moon of the Year. I'm coming in a little late. I had to work late today, but uh, I have my buddy Andrew take prep on down for me, and hopefully he sells out. And we'll get this year started right. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of guys that ain't ain't there today, you know, like myself that you know haven't got finished, having too many problems with changes. But hopefully uh, Chris Cook, hopefully he makes it today with his car. I know this will be uh, a whole different setup. He's on a with a bigger motor, more nitrous, bigger tire, better converter, rear everything. Everything on Chris's car is better than it was last year, and. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cars that don't show up, but there's gonna be a lot of, of new people that I haven't got to see race yet, haven't got to see make a pass. Uh, these guys been sitting waiting for this little rinky dink place, little hole in the wall place to open back up all winter long. A lot of these people, this is the only place they race, this is the only place they know. Uh, it's only 300, 300 or 330 foot, I'm not really for sure, but. Uh, it's a really small place. It's as no prep as you could ever make it. Yeah, the start line gets really good, but that's what you got is, you know, like the first 60 foot and then the rest is holes. Uh, towards the finish line, there is, uh, it's, it's hardly even black top. Uh, there's actually, you could lose the 31, 10, 50 and some of them things. You know, this isn't, uh, this isn't who can finish first. This is really who can get down without ripping a wheel off. Um, it's borderline probably the most dangerous place that I have ever seen people race on. Uh, just because the surface is so bad. Uh, you have to be a real gangster to get down this track and win. To do it consistently, you have to have God on your side because there's nobody else going to help you make it down this track consistently. You uh, you just have to see it to believe it. And if they're not running, when I get there, I would like to uh, go down track, video the surface in the daytime, in the daylight. Because a lot of people don't know what they're even racing on. Uh, I've seen it firsthand. It is rough. Uh, so if I get there in time and uh, I can get in between rounds or whatever of testing, I want to get out there and I want to show you just what just what these guys are getting down on. Uh, if you want to come to this place, uh, it's Isom, Kentucky. Uh, the address you can find it online. Uh, it's like Mountain Motorsports Park, I believe is what they call it on Facebook. Uh, but we will see you there. Here it is in all of its glory. Race trying hollow. And it is dead beside of the dirt track. So that's something I forgot to mention is uh, the dirt track, they run on a Friday night, whereas they drag race on Saturday nights. Therefore, all the dirt gets slung over on top of what little bit of black top you have. You have to watch because this is your exit. This is it. If you mess up, that's what you got. And there you are facing down track. We're not gonna send nobody down just yet, so. Take this uh, this second to show the track. This this guy actually his car just about burnt to the ground. I don't really know how bad it is yet, but this is the surface I was telling you about. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as it really is. Right beside the dirt track, 
water seeps up out of it, dirt, mud, holes everywhere. This is what you're racing on over here, Dyson. Let's hope this guy ain't uh, too bad to shape down here. He got, he got a couple little spots on the ground. Oh, it should just be water. Check these other ones out. I mean, it was a pretty spectacular fire. Yeah, it just seems to be water. Well, things happen, right?
the uh, first cache days of the year, first uh, test of tuna as well for Isom. I just finished up, uh, wasn't a big car count, you know, which it is the very first one. It's really early in the season. So the guys that did show up, they had a ball. They, they came out and they learned a few things and uh, you can bet your ass they're gonna come out faster next time. Uh, there's a lot of cars that I didn't get to see that uh, I was really hoping to get to see come out. But uh, like Anthony Bates' car, that little, uh, little blue Mustang is, is a rocket ship. He's got a few issues that needs to fix, but nothing major. So he will definitely be back out uh, at the very next test and tune or race, whatever, whatever you know comes next. I'm not really for sure, but uh, his little buddy called Bubbles, uh, his car will be at the next one as well. There's a few cars that I didn't get to see that really hoping to see you know, like Steven Johnson's little white truck I haven't actually got to see it make a pass uh, I'm sure it'll be a rocket ship when he does get it out uh, which I don't know why he didn't have it tonight unless there's something wrong but uh, let's see here uh, that Fairchild guy with his uh, blue S10 he was the one that took some money home tonight and their little their little small cash days Truck's a small block Chevy on a little hit. The truck works. Uh, he's, he was flying tonight. Uh, I don't think I actually got in the video the uh, his final pass, which was when he really sprayed that truck. Uh, the dude is uh, he's a pretty humble, humble guy. I'm pretty happy to see him take some money home. I would have most rather seen uh, Anthony Bates and him race in the finals because that would have been a, a hell of a race. Both of them was not going to turn it down for nothing. Uh, Anthony's car is, is leaking a little bit of oil and it's, it's just not worth taking a chance in that little skinny track. But uh, the first one's, first one's in the bag, many more to go. Uh, hopefully that uh, my new block will show up Monday. And uh, if there's no issues with the block that I'm unaware of, if everything checks out, I can have it bored and have the machine work done on it this week. And then you will get to see some uh, some action me putting that motor back together. So you can see some internal parts that I have going on. Uh, you know, it, my motor isn't nothing special. It's got a lot of cheap stuff. You know, it's got some expensive stuff too, but you know, nothing, nothing too spectacular. Uh, but I will show that motor going together. Until next time, I guess, we'll see you.